For 50 years, Belmont has helped students turn their dreams of working in the entertainment and music business industry into a reality. Well, there, there, there are several origin stories, but uh, one of them, and, and an important one, is uh, Cecil Scaife, who was part of the music industry, and he went to church with Bob Malloy. Well, if you go back and look in the old annuals, Bob attended Belmont College and was elected Mr. Belmont. He had a genuine love for students and would, there's not anything he wouldn't do to help you achieve your goals. Cecil basically says to Bob, you ought to do something with the music industry because they, they had a need how to get college-educated executives in country music when that industry was full of an ex-fiddle player running a business. At the beginning, it was kind of scary, and it was like, what are we doing? The, the music business faculty had to create these courses from scratch, and there weren't any books. But Bob took it and ran with it. Almost from the beginning, there became a, a logarithmic growth of this program because it was so unique and honestly because it was in a business school and not a music school and you had a merge of people from all over the country and we looked like we were from all over the country if you know what I'm saying. Talk to a straight ahead business person and then talk to somebody in the music business and they see the world a little differently. You know, Instead of Shakespeare, you're listening to Bob Dylan. Instead of uh, Beethoven, you're listening to Elvis Presley. One of the biggest heroes of all was location. If you want to play in the major leagues, you've got to be in either New York, LA, and Nashville. Belmont has the location right at the head of Music Row. You know, I owe Belmont a lot. Well, first of all, there's no way I'd be sitting here talking to you if it weren't for this school, but it's bigger than that. It's this amazing magic ticket if you want it to be. Going into a lot of those you know, early music business meetings to have some grasp on how the business works was very important. The school was a very rare place for us to all kind of find each other. It's a community of people who all felt like outsiders somewhere else, but came here and felt like they'd found a common community. At the end of the century, Dr. Bob Fisher came. He had a, an even bigger vision. He said, let's go do it now. Let's make it music and entertainment now. This program was started based on an industry need and the industry coming to us and saying, could you help us? And I think that magic happens when industry and education can come together to propel the future. There's not a day goes by that I don't work with someone directly that either I attended Belmont with or I know they attended Belmont. There's been a growth in the professionalism of music business in great part just because there's a training place and that place would be Belmont. That ability for not only industry people to come work and talk and teach, but it also allows students to even during class breaks be able to go down on the road to attend meetings, to go to studios, but then get jobs. And there's a sense from the music community that they're looking for the best and the brightest coming out of Belmont. And at Belmont, we are training the next generation of leaders in these industries. That's what the industry needed, and that's what Belmont needed. Belmont's unique in that we have students who come here with dreams and ambitions of working in the entertainment business. Our job is to help champion those dreams and make those ambitions a reality. Mm -hmm.